we're going to start with uh, this phrase. So today I want to teach you guys idioms, Thai idioms, proverbs, and aphorisms. So before we get right to that, I just want to teach you three words uh, that mean idioms, proverbs, and aphorisms respectively. Okay, the first one is Sam nuan, sam nuan. The first syllable is high tone, rising tone. Sorry, the first syllable is rising tone, and the second one is mid tone. Sam nuan, sam nuan. Sam nuan means idioms in Thai. Okay, sam nuan, sam nuan. The next one is supa sit, supa sit, supa sit. Supasit means proverbs. Okay, the first one is low tone, second one is mid tone, and sit also low tone. Supasit, supasit proverbs. Kampang pei, kampang pei, kampang pei is an aphorism. Kampang pei, okay, kampang pei. Okay, so just so you know that these three. Uh, words are not really used interchangeably in terms of linguistics, you know, aspects, okay? But in like writing or speaking, we kind of use these guys, you know, interchangeably, right? Uh, because these three, you know, there's a use of simile, uh, imagery, what else? Metaphor, personification, and all that, okay? So, yeah, that's why we kind of use them interchangeably and today I'm not going to pinpoint like which one you know is a proverb which one is idiom maybe I would just go with the proverb and idiom and use them interchangeably too so uh, yeah let's just start with the first idiom okay Gai means chicken hen <laughs> hen also means chicken. Hen in Thai, rising tone. Hen means uh, look at or can see. Okay, hen means see. Tin, tin is foot, a foot or feet. Tin is not really a polite word. Okay, tin uh, is foot, but another word that we use, which is politer, is uh, tao, tao, this one. Tao, high tone, okay, tao. But we, we use thin for animals mostly, and we don't usually use thin for, for humans, for people. Okay, so if you ever get to have like um, noodle bowl, like noodle soup, and sometimes when they do like chicken uh, noodle soup, they put chicken legs in the, in the, in the soup, <laughs> in the soup, right? And so that's called thin gai, thin gai, thin is food, gai is chicken, okay? Gai hen tin ngu ngu means snakes. Okay, ngu ng sound n g sound ngu tin ngu is uh snakes foot. So basically, it's chicken can see the snakes foot right or feet. Ngu hen nom gai nom means uh boobs or breast. Okay, if I said chicken breast here, that wouldn't uh give you a clear picture because gnome here is more like you know like boobs like human boobs gai hen sorry ngu hen nom gai so ngu snakes hen si nom gai chickens boobs basically we never see uh their feet or boobs right we never see uh the snake's feet or the chicken's boobs so as an outsider we don't know about that secret. So only two party, which are guy and Mu or chicken and snake, can only know each other's secret, right? So this sentence refers to the situation where two parties, you know, know each other's secrets, but outsiders don't at all. The same way with we never seen, you know, chickens' boobs or uh, you know, snakes' feet, right? But they both see each other's boobs and feet yeah okay so i'll give you an example how to use this sentence for example my one of my friends uh got pregnant and she never told the secret to anyone and she told the secret to a friend of hers who was a male friend and the male friend 
uh, she also know his secret because he was dating two girls at the same time. So basically, these two people, they you know learn each other's secrets, right? But outsiders don't know anything about those. So that's the situation we use to describe you know, gai hen tin ngu ngu hen nom gai. Okay. Again, gai hen tin ngu ngu hen nom gai. Gai chicken and no snakes, okay? So, Dika, Tekin, so Dika, Chain. Should I call you Shane or Tekin? <laughs> um, I'm trying to make sure that everything's okay now. <laughs> we add Gai Hen Ti Ngu Ngu Hen Ngum Gai. Okay. The second one is Gai Dai Ploy. This one is easy, okay? Gai Chicken. Dai means to obtain or to receive. Ploy, ploy means gem, uh, precious stone. Ploy, ploy is also a female, female name. Okay, Thai female name. Ploy. So this is the way we pronounce the name. Ploy, and for Thai script, uh, it's written like this. Yeah, but in English, uh, the girl named Ploy will spell her name like this. Ploy, ploy. So gai dai ploy means chicken get to you know have the gem right basically it means that the someone got to obtain something valuable but doesn't see the value of it just the same way with the chicken you know chicken is an animal right so chicken got to have the gem but you know it cannot do anything with the gem right it cannot sell the gem it doesn't even know if the gem is you know valuable so this is a statement or idiom that describes someone, uh, you know, who obtains something but doesn't see the value of the the item, right? It could be something that you can use with, like, uh, let's say, a player or someone who cannot commit to the relationship, and the person uh, get to, you know, have the nicest girl or nicest boy, but cannot really see the value of the person, right? It's like guide I ploy, okay? So. Basically, that what it, that's what it means, okay? Chain, got that crap. Okay, chain. All right, so the next one is one on dai gao. This one is similar to gai dai ploy, okay? Because one on dai gao is the same thing. Gao means a valuable item. Gao means glass here, but gao and ploy pretty much just means as, uh, the same thing, like precious item, okay? Wanon mean wanon is an official term for monkeys. Wanon, wanon, yeah. Wanon like gao, gao. It's like gem or precious stone. Gao and ploy, they kind of use so interchangeably. But gao also means glass as well. Okay, so usually gao, as in like precious stuff or valuable item, would be used in like poetic term or like in poems. Wanon dai gao dai means obtain, right? And one on is monkey. Another word for one on is ling, ling, okay, ling. But this one is a prop, uh, is an idiom, so they use like an official formal word. One on, okay, one on. Let's take a look at the Thai script a little bit. Wow, when so the ah, okay, no, 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 ling, no, no. Um, one on that gal, yeah. So let's move on to this one. This one is also similar to the uh, the two that we just you know, studied or cover. Yun gao hai wanon. Yun means hand over. Gao is so like valuable items or gem, right? Hai wanon. So yun gao, like hand over the thing. Gao, which is valuable. Hai, hai, towards or for. Okay, for. For the monkey. And monkey wouldn't be able to do anything with it, right? Because, you know, it's monkey, right? And so pretty much these three mean the same, okay? Gai dai ploy chicken, wai non dai gao ling, right? Uh, monkeys. And yun gao hai wai non, yun is hand over something. Yun gao hai wai non. Okay, so mean the same thing. A person who's obtained, you know, something valuable and doesn't see the value in it. But, I mean, outsiders or other people can see the value. But, but the person who's actually like, um, you know, ha had the possession of that thing, cannot see the value of that thing, okay? All right, the next one is cute. I like this one. Gai ngam prakon, 
คนงามเพราะแต่ง Okay, this one is very very classic, and it's used to describe mostly females, but you can use with you know male as well, if you like. ไก่งามไก่ chicken right again. Excuse me. ไก่งามงามม means pretty. Okay, so chicken will will be pretty because of เพราะเพราะ because. เพราะขนขน means uh, feather uh, yeah feather <laughs> คนคนคนงามคน means person งาม beautiful because เพราะแต่งแต่ง means decorate or dress up or like put on makeup basically แต่ง you know um, so it means that you know chicken will be pretty because of the letter uh, it's feather not letter <laughs> It's feather, but um, and human the same way you know goes with he human as well. We all can be pretty because we take time to you know put efforts and trying to like uh, groom right, like try to you know be uh, dress up and all that. So it means that basically like anyone can be pretty and anyone can look better if they actually put effort into like. You know uh, how to dress or how to put on makeup or how to groom. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to. Oh, I want to kind of point out to you guys the tone a little bit because this one is "kon." Uh, Thai script spell we call "kai." Okay. "Kon," rising tone, right? And high consonant uh, rules is the first tone is already rising. That's why there's no tone mark here. Okay, for people who can read Thai script, there's no tone mark here. ขนขน rising tone ขนขน okay this one ขนขน mid tone ขนคอควาย low consonant the first tone no tone mark is mid tone as in middle consonant ขนขน okay this one เงาซาวงองูซาวงามงามดูเห็นตัวนี้ตัวนี้โซ่เนี่ยเอ่อซาวไหมงามงาม okay เพราะเพราะ this one use a lot is a conjunction เพราะเพราะเพราะเอาเพราะว่าโอเคเพราะเพราะเราเรียกเพราะชัวเพราะไฮทอนเพราะเพราะโอเคไก่งามเพราะขนคนงามเพราะแต่งโอเคแต่ง can also mean to get married like we use the word แต่ง it comes from แต่งงานแต่งงาน means to get married but in uh, you know conversations we use just ต่ง a lot for example someone uh, you know asked me the other day เมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไร means when right เมื่อไรจะแต่ง จะ means will แต่ง is uh, get married right it's a uh, colloquial for for get married okay เมื่อไรจะแต่ง means when we get married okay so this is like a very short way uh, this is the way we actually say it like for real we're not gonna say like เมื่อไรจะแต่งงาน like in full we're like เมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไรจะแต่ง like really quick เมื่อไรจะแต่งเมื่อไรจะแต่ง so we get it right away that it's not uh, to dress up it's not about putting on makeup okay it's not about decoration it's about Thing and or get married. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. กบเลือกนายกบเลือกนาย Hi Adam, how are you? Chickens get a lot of call outs in Thai idioms. Yes, you're right, Chan. Okay, I'm so glad the stream is okay now. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I have to do it again at 10:30. So, um, okay, so กบเลือกนาย Okay, this one is from Uh, e Aesop's Aesop's fables, yeah. I need to tell Fred to um, stop sending me messages. <laughs> I just ask him about Thai lang uh, some some aspects of the Thai language, and he just responded to me just now when I'm live streaming. Um, go look n i Okay, this one is from Aesop's fables. Okay, you guys probably heard of Aesop's, right? So, uh, go look n i Go means Frogs, okay. เลือก means pick or select. 
and nine means masters or it could be employers as well like we call a boss nine um, okay so this is just how the story goes I have to start with me I think oh maybe I didn't write it down anyway so I remember the story anyways um, gop, liak nai. So basically, gop is a metaphor for people in this uh, context, okay? It's a metaphor for people who have been selecting stuff, like keep selecting, selecting and selecting. So like the frog, it's come from the uh, the fables. Uh, I think this, this is how the story goes. So basically, it, uh, there are some, you know, frogs in one area and they didn't really have like any master and they want to have a master and so they ask maybe you know from god or whatever higher power to send them some master right and then a master was sent and then the frogs were still not happy with the first master so they kept asking and asking and asking and asking and then in the end i think uh i think the last master end up being the worst right or not better at all so this idiom is used to describe someone who's like too picky like uh too much right like super selective and in the end you know have after having having selected so many things but in the end the person still doesn't get anything better or sometimes even worse okay go look nai go look nai go frog look select and nine means master Okay, gop naikala krop. This one is my favorite because this happened to me. Um, I have a story, I think. So gop naikala means someone who lives in like a cave or like a bubble, okay? Like a, you know, tiny, small little world or has some narrow worldview about anything in life, right? And, and actually believe that he or she knows uh, best or knows better than anyone else so go is a frog right a frog and then nai nai means in preposition in and gala gala i just love this word so much gala is also the, the name of a band okay thai band gala gala means coconut shell okay and crop means cover this one crop okay crop uh cover so frog in coconut shell cover all over so the the coconut shell is like so small right you know half of it maybe and then uh, the gop thing <laughs> the frog uh, you know just like being in the gala right and then that's all that's all the frog can see but the frog itself believes that it knows a lot better than anything else that's the only world that he has and that's the only that's so much knowledge that he has okay so that's like the comparison of someone who actually has narrow-minded and limited knowledge but uh come across or presents himself as someone who's you know knowledgeable or knows it all yeah i think that's clear <laughs> okay so next one is Yun gran gratai ka dio. Okay. How did you answer? What do you mean, Sean? Uh, I don't quite understand that question. Can you give me some context? Yun gran gratai. So, or, anyway, so you can use this sentence to anyone who just like, you know, like Mr. or Miss, Miss, uh, no, no at all. Okay. Like, uh, I used to just refer to people like, uh, that person is gop nekala krop or you can say in short like gop nekala like this too gop nekala and drop the word krop it's fine as well oh by the way if you guys can think of any proverb or idiom in english that you know had a similar meaning of uh, what i'm teaching just let me know okay so we can learn together because i don't know a lot of idioms in english honestly for animals so Maybe you can help me with that. So feel free to text me, uh, you know, put in the comment section and I'll I'll just say it and tell other people as well. Okay, next one is Yun Gran Gratai Ka Dio. Gratai means 
rabbits. Okay. Gra tai rabbits. Yeah. Actually, people usually use or refer to this uh, idiom instead of the next one. But I heard two versions. Okay. The uh, this version is gra tai sam ka. Okay, gra tai means rabbit, right? Let's see if I'm covered. I don't want. I don't want to block the screen so much. Okay, so gra tai sam ka. Ka diao means one one leg. Okay, ka diao diao means alone. Uh, alone solely diao. Yeah, alone or one item. Ka means leg, right? Ka diao is one leg. This one is sam ka, okay? Sam ka means what? Three legs, right? So I heard both of these, okay? I heard both gra tai ka diao and gra tai sam ka, which is very interesting. So I did a little little research today on the internet, and I found that it's actually this one supposed to be correct. Um, I assume, and I hope so, and I believe so. So this is how the story goes. Uh, it's from a Thai fairy tale, I think. I'm not sure which you know which which title that this story has, but basically is uh, about a temple boy. So a temple boy, I call him a temple boy because a boy who you know grew up in a temple, and the temple boy wanted to please a monk one day. So he went to you know a forest and got uh, I think caught uh, a rabbit okay. and then uh, when he was grilling the rabbit you know <laughs> the smell was so good like I was too tempting right for him so he finally like gave in and kind of grabbed one of the legs okay so rabbits have four legs right but like the boy, the temple boy grabbed one leg, okay? And so, and then, okay, he just, you know, kept one leg and then just uh, pretty much just handed the rest of the pieces <laughs> to the monk, right? As he planned, because he planned to, you know, catch a rabbit for the monk and grill it for him. So the monk asked him, how come the rabbit had only three legs, right? And he said, mm, it's already, you know, had three legs to begin with. Like, you know, uh, he never, he never did anything. So he never took the, the fourth leg, right? And then the monk was like, no, 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 no way. Like someone, you know, must have taken it, right? And then the boy was like, no, 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 no. I already saw, you know, I only saw like three legs. So basically, we, we, that's why we use that when someone, you know, firmly um, believe in something and like insisting on, a fact or a statement or something it's like gra tai sam ka or we can use this as well yun gran gra tai sam ka yun gran okay yun gran yun gran means to uh, insist i don't know what's wrong with my con uh, uh, control v okay so yun yun gran gra tai sam ka yeah yeah, I think you. Uh, this version is probably correct, and this version is just a uh, transform version. Cardio, Gratai cardio. Actually, it's a traditional uh, Thai traditional play. I actually did it before, and that's how I got my scar right here. So the way we play was, you know, um, we're gonna be one person gonna be the rabbit, right? And then the rabbit will try to catch, you know, the rest of us. And the rabbit has to be on one foot only and then just try to like catch the other person. And so how I got this scar was when I was in middle school and I was playing this Gratai Kadiao play, okay? And I think one friend of mine, he was at the very at the corner of the wall. And I actually didn't see that I didn't see that it was like, you know, the corner. And I didn't see that he was about to move. So I was kinda like speeding up Max. <laughs> To catch him right but he already moved so i bump into the wall right here and so that's how i got the scar yeah that's from <laughs>
That's really funny. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Kretai Tun Tum. Kretai Tun Tum, okay. Um, what, 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 what? Okay, I need to read the this one first. Okay, so let's see. Um, how did you answer great the marriage question? Oh, um, no, I'm not gonna get married anytime soon. Tekin said he asked, How did you answer the marriage question? Oh, okay, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. What does that mean? Tekin, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. Which one, which is which? You guys have to tell me as well. Uh, which one? Early bird gets the worm. Early bird. This one? Gop Nekalakop means early bird. Now I'm confused. A blessing in disguise. Huh? Don't beat a dead horse. Yeah, that one sounds familiar. Don't beat a dead horse probably equivalent to this one, Katai Samka. Okay, you guys have to tell me the Thai version too because I cannot follow with the text, the messages. Um, don't beat on this. A blessing this guy. Don't beat around the bush. Let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, yeah. Ask for idioms from English, but you have to tell me which one because I already talk about. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about this one, the rabbits, or are you talking about the previous one, frog? Because there are two that I was talking about just now. A snake in the grass. Let the cat out of the bag. Wow. My God, there's so many animals here. Anyway, so I'm going to move on. Let me see. Maybe I can just Google real quick. Because I want to know too. Have any questions? Let me know, okay? Uh, now we at Gratai uh, Cardio and Gratai Samka. Let the cat out of the bag. Ah, review a secret carelessly or by mistake. Really? Ah. Uh, not really. A snake in the grass. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I think I wasn't. I wasn't clear. Um. So, I think I was asking if you know any idioms that actually are you know have similar meanings to what I'm teaching. Then let me know. Um. But if it's like other idioms about animals and stuff, maybe let me know later. <laughs> Cause. Okay. All right. I'm gonna move on. Sorry about that. Um, sorry about not being clear and the confusion. Gratai tun tum. Gratai means what? Rapids, right? Gratai. This one is from Buddha story. Gratai is rapid. Tun tum means freak out. Gratai tun tum is used to refer to a person who just start to be, you know, panicking or freaking out without collecting evidence or checking with the source it of the news first so when someone hears something and they're like oh my god oh my god oh my god and then maybe share the story you know online or facebook or whatever so that's action or the person's uh, action is described as okay tun tum means like panicking or freaking out the next one is on are you guys okay? Ko is a formal term for count, a count. Ko ga on. Ko uh means old. Gin eat. Ya ya is grass. And on means soft. So ya on here. Soft grass refers to young females and ko ge or wu ge. So there are two ways to say cow in Thai is ko and wu. Ko is a formal one. Wu is um informal one. Ko ge gin ya on. Ko ge means um old, older, like much older males. So yeah, 
So if you are an old man, uh, it doesn't have to be a like, super old man. Like let's say if you date someone 20 years your junior, right? It could, you could be seen as ko ga gin ya on. Okay? Ko ga gin eat. Ya on. Ya grass and on soft. Ko ga gin ya on. Alright, next one. Ki chang jap takatan. I like this one too. Oh damn, sorry. <gasps> I Sorry for saying that word out loud. Um, sorry, I was making myself big. And then I forgot to make myself small. Okay. Ko ga gin ya on. Let me teach you again. Ko ga. This one. Ko ga. Old. Cow. Cow. This one. Old. Okay. This one. Cow. Ko ga. Gin. Eat. Ya. Grass. And then soft means on. Ko ga gin ya on. Ko ga refers to old, much older males. And this is refer, refer to young females. So ko ga gin ya on means... Uh, Old males like a lot much older, you know, dating younger female. I was blocking the text. Sorry about that. Ki chang jap takatan. This one ki chang ki right. Okay, chang elephant. Elephant. Jap is cash. Takatan means grasshopper. Takatan is also the name of a Thai country singer. Takatan, takatan. Uh, I like the sound. Takatan, takatan, tao tao, okay? The sound. Takatan, key. So basically, it means you ride a, an elephant to catch grasshoppers, right? I think it's equivalent to um, take a sledgehammer to catch what? To crack, to crack a walnut, yeah. So ki chang jap takatan in Thai is equivalent to the idiom in English take a sledgehammer to crack a walnut. Basically it means you invest like over investing in something that is not necessary, right? You ride an elephant to catch a you know grasshoppers. So you can just basically walk to catch grasshoppers, right? Use the you know a net. Yeah, so that's what it means. Okay. You guys got it? Okay. Jap sua mu plow. Jap sua mu plow. Your image is covering the text. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I figured that out finally. Robbing the cradle. Yes, yes, yes. Koke gin ya on. Yes. This one is robbing the cradle. Yeah, koke gin ya on. Good job. Thank you, Chan. Jab sua mu prao, okay? Jab catch. Sua tiger. Tiger, as in tiger. <laughs> mu hand. And plow means empty or just plain hand. Jab sua mu prao. Catch a tiger with an empty hand. Basically, it means uh, there are two meanings, okay? It could be used in a neutral or uh, positive way or negative way the positive way is uh, means that you actually get to be successful or get to you know have uh, fruitful results from doing pretty much almost nothing right so you don't invest to do anything at all but the result or the return is good so in that case you're lucky so you can use stop blow to describe a situation as well uh, as per negative connotation you can use this sentence in a way to kind of remind the other person or ask if, you know, it would be a good idea to not invest in something that they should be investing, right? Uh, so in this sense, it sounds like, come on, you probably want to invest more. Otherwise, it's like that you might not get anything in return. So this, you know, idiom can be used in either positive or negative meaning so up to the speaker okay all right so gonna move on to the next one ka kwai ya sia dai prik ka kwai ya sia dai prik kwa sao okay kwa wa sao kwa kwai wa wen kwai kwai means buffalo ka ka means Kill. 
uh, this one spell with korakang, okay? Korakang, ka, ka means to kill or slaughter. Uh, why buffalo? Ya means don't. See, I die, uh, regret or not using something because you regret of doing it. Or in this sense or in this context, it could be mean like uh, you being stingy on something as well. I'll explain in, a, in a, more in a bit. Prick, prick is chili, okay? There's another version too. Ka kwa ya siya dai glua. 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 Glua, yeah. Or prick, okay? Glua means salt. So the story behind it is Ka kwai. Am I too big? I still feel I'm too big. There we go. Um, ka kwai. So if you want to kill the buffalo, okay, don't regret or don't be stingy with uh, chili or salt. Okay, so this is what it means. So in those days, you know, some people kill buffaloes for food right like you know take the meat and cook right so when you cook buffalo um you cannot really use this tiny bit of salt or chili because it will still smell fishy or not really smell good right because it is believed that buffalo's meat smells quite strong and so in order to make sure that the meat you know it's probably cooked or probably cooked or like you know gonna be cooked really well and taste good then you have to use a lot of prick and grua or chili and salt otherwise it's gonna be not tasty or not as good and so the reason that this idiom is used is used to you know tell the host who hosts the party and you know maybe uh, have a feast or something and have the buffalo serve right not to be stingy with the chili or with the salt so make sure you use a lot of stingy and salt because otherwise it's not worth it in a way it means that when you want to do something big or grand right because buffalo means like you know big you you shouldn't you shouldn't be stingy on some like small tiny things right or shouldn't be worried so much uh this sentence can be used to describe a situation where Sometimes you have to sacrifice your time and you know personal relationship with some people in order to be successful in career and stuff like that. That one can be used as well. It's like when you aim high or like you have like a big project or you know something really like um, a lot going on or something grand, you have to kind of sacrifice small stuff and don't be stingy, don't feel regret to let go of those things in order to be successful for the big project or something that you, you know, you think it's worth it. It's probably more worth it in the end, right? So it means it's not worth it to, you know, sweat over small stuff or not let go of the small stuff, right? So in life, you have to kind of choose which one is more important for you. If you just want to, you know, serve the the big buffaloes, then you cannot be stingy with the, the chili or the salt. You have to make sure that you use all of them, maybe, you know, in order to achieve uh, the tastiness of of the buffalo. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm trying my best. I'm getting all over and over again. If you don't understand this one, let me know. I can come back and explain again. Hopefully, I I nailed it. <laughs> the next one is Chang Tai Tang Tua Ao Bai Bua Ma Pit. Okay. Ngai mun pok gui khao pa. Really? This one is easy? Uh, okay, making... Uh, what is it? Making... Let me check the comment. Making something out of nothing. Stop. Yes, yes. Catch a tiger with an empty hand. Yeah, yeah. Making something out of nothing. Spend money to make money. Ka kwa yes ya dai yeah, yeah, something like that. You can use in that context as well. Good job, Sean. The next one is Chang Tai Thang Tua Ao Bai Bua Ma Pit. Okay. Chang means elephant. Tai means to die. Thang Tua. 
Tang means like Tang Po means like all over body. Ao Ao Bai Bua Bai Bua is lotus leaf. Ao is take right or grab or use. Ma Pit. So you use the lotus leaf to cover the dead elephant. Okay, so that elephant is a metaphor for an evil or some uh, bad deed that someone does and it is so obvious that you cannot really cover it but you try to cover it with by bua. Okay, by bua is lotus leaf, right? So elephant is this big, by bua is this, this big and you try to cover the deed that you probably like, it doesn't have to be you, okay, anyone else. Um, let's say uh i give you an example you know like sometimes a politician or some politicians could do something that's just like so wrong and like it would just like it's just so obvious that you know they're in the wrong right but they try to like you know cover it right try to use media cover or like try to make excuses and all that so in that scenario we describe it as chang tai tang tua ao bai bua pit mai mit okay uh, there's two versions, I think. I'll buy Boma Pit or I'll buy Boa Pit. My mid. Uh, pretty much mean the same, okay? My mid is like you cannot cover all of it. But I mean, I think original one is I'll buy Boma Pit. Pit means cover. The next one is Dai T Ki Pat Lai. Dai T Ki Pat Lai, okay? Dai T, Dai T, Dai obtain. T is. Uh, Opportunity basically. Dai T is like you kind of waiting for someone to make a mistake or you kind of wait for that opportunity to walk over someone. Dai T, okay. Ki, pat lai. Ki means ride and pat means goat or sheep. Yes, goat. <laughs> lai, lai means chase, okay. Uh, so basically, the person's wait up for the opportunity uh, to to ride a goat to catch the other person. This one is from Twelve Sisters fairy tale. It's a Thai fairy tale. And I think the main male leading role was being seduced by someone. And that person was trying to get him drunk. And I think he didn't get drunk and he got up and he, you know, tried to escape from from her and then when she realized that he already escaped she took her goat and then you know rode the goat to chase him yeah I don't know how it's relevant maybe because it's like she realized quickly that he's not here anymore he's already left so escape and so she's like you know grab her own goat and you know ride on it anyways and chase him yeah <laughs> weird <laughs> I would say um, ตีงูให้กากินโอเคตีงูให้กากินชอนเซดได้ทีขี่แพะไล่ okay. snake in the grass really what does that mean snake in the grass ได้ทีขี่แพะบูฟ in sheep disguise no wolf in sheep disguise means like you were i think wolf in sheep disguise will be a uh, better fit with uh, another one like the following one Right at the very end that I'm gonna teach you. Yeah, so I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, this one is more like you kind of wait for the, the other person to make mistake, and when, when you, you know, when that, op that time comes, then you didn't, you didn't wait to kind of like walk over them or like, um, what's, uh, what is it in English? Add, add insults to the, in hold on, add insults to the injury, right? It's probably the one. Um, kind of, yeah, worsen it. Okay, ti ngu hai ka kin. Ti ngu hai ka kin. Ti means hit, okay? And ngu means snake. Hai ka kin. So you hit the snake for, okay? Hai, this one's for. For the crow to eat. Basically, you use your own energy and invest your time. To hit the snake, right? Boom, boom, boom. But then you give the snake to to the crow for for it to eat. Uh, it means that you actually do something 
but then you didn't reap the reward or the benefits uh, instead someone else does okay the next one is this one is really difficult and I did a little research today too and I might be wrong but you know I'm trying my best to explain this one okay like I said right ko and wo means count okay count the means hit top is effect uh, effect another person or something else krat is rake okay rake r a k e rake so in those days or maybe still these days we attach the uh, rake to uh, you know with the count right and so when we hit the count the rake will be affected too so that's the uh, the you know um, I would say metaphor of what it means okay so basically it means that when you want to hurt someone's feelings or you know whoever but you cannot do that you actually do that to the person who's rela who's related to that person instead for example you hate someone so much but you cannot really do anything to the person and instead you hurt their uh, animals or something like that that then you know that the person like the animals when it's hurt the person will be hurt as well will all will be affected so that's the war okay so you cannot do anything directly to the person and instead you chose to do that action to someone who actually related to the first person okay <laughs> all right the next one is also my favorite nok song hua nok song hua a snake is hidden and will bite you which one the work at hope crowd oh really sean the ngu hai ka kin lose your shirt oh yeah okay thank you lose your shirt the ngu hai ka kin okay this one maybe i should just write it like write those down and then i'll because i'm gonna teach teach it again nok song hua nok bird right Nok also mean nok is a slang, okay, uh, among gay community. So you can use this word nok to describe the action of losing someone who you know you are pursuing. So the story comes from a bird watcher, like you know, a bird watcher, you know, try to like look at the uh, aim, right? Aim at the a bird, and then if the bird watcher is not being careful, right, the bird will realize that someone is watching at him or it or her <laughs> so the bird flies away so that's why we describe you know the action of losing the opportunity of pursuing someone as no okay, it's a slang no high tone no in this idiom though it doesn't mean no as in you know losing someone okay no means bird song hua song hua two hits no song hua means a person who sucks up or try to please uh two parties who are enemies okay uh, for example let's say hmm. if you're being neutral with both party is fine okay but no song who actually refers to the person who actually like please or take side with both sides without this party knowing that he or she actually taking both sides yeah so kind of betrayal in a way i think ปลาติดร่างแห่ปลาติดร่างแห่ปลามีสเฟชติด means stuck โอเครถติด okay. traffic jam รถ means car รถติด stuck traffic jam ปลาติดร่างแห่ร่างแห่ means a uh, net okay a uh, fish fish net yeah or uh, you can you might hear another version which is Pratit lang he lang is that means at the back. Okay, so two versions are used with Lolia and Loling and Ha Heap here. But I actually heard this version uh, more often. Lang he. Pratit lang he pra fish and tit stuck and lang he uh, fish net right. Pratit lang he sorry pratit lang he means you got affected with uh, something bad because you 
were involved with them like in the first place for example we can use this phrase to describe you know an action of maybe a friend warning another friend that hey don't get involved with people you know who do drugs because one day you're gonna you're gonna right you're gonna be like fish with uh, you know stuck in the net because when you're involved with those people like drug users you know you you never know one day you might go to jail together with them because you know people might think that or the police might think that you are uh involved in drugs as well right because you hang out with them yeah so you can use this phrase to describe that action usually it's not positive okay like it's negative but that you be affected negatively or have the negative consequences because of involving yourself with a particular party or someone or a group Ginka is what? Chameleon, I think? Chameleon, yeah Dai obtain, right? Or get Tong means gold, okay? Gold Ginka Dai Tong means chameleon gets the gold uh, it means that when someone has climbed their way up and obtained a lot of money or social status and the person seems to forget where she or he comes from and being like snobbish or like, you know, arrogant and like look down on other people. Yeah. Ginka Dai Tong. Ginka Chameleon. Ginka. Ginka Dai Tong. Uh, this one I already explained before, I think. Sorry, I forgot to do the transliteration version. This one uh, is used to describe a married couple who have been, you know, familiar with each other and know each other really well. Uh, it, it's not really used sexually, okay, like in terms of like sexual context, but it's more like because these two people, you know, are familiar with each other and know each other quite well because they're married, you know, being married. Uh, okay, let me. If anyone know how to fix my control C and V on Word, let me know because it's annoying for me. I cannot use it. I cannot, I can use it here on the browser but I cannot use it on Microsoft Word I don't know why so this one okay Wuo means cow Kui means used to ka ka sorry not ka ka Wuo Kui ka Kui ka basically means uh, you write the ka right like you're used to you know writing your cow you're used to riding a horse. Ma is horse. Ke used to and ki means right. Okay. So it's like metaphor for a married couple or someone you know who like been in a, together, the same relationship, right? And you can describe like, oh come on, they're gonna rekindle. They're gonna go like get back together because they wo ke ka ma ke ki. Okay. I mean, you can actually, you know, some people actually look at this phrase. Um, in a naughty way too because the word right right so i mean but i don't see that way but some people do so um ความ okay. ความ yes chain don't forget your roots correct yeah Sean said ginga dai tong too big for your what birches? Wow, <laughs> that's interesting. Birches are pants. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, ความ wo ไม่ tan hai ความ quai ข้ามาแซ่บ. Okay, ความ means matter, uh, or business. Let's say, uh, wo ความ wo. Uh, in those days, there are, you know, this kind of reflect our agriculture society back then, right? Uh, where we had, you know, cattle, right? So buffaloes and cows are like pretty much were pretty much like main animals that Thai people you know were familiar or use so that's why uh, we use 
วัวอันควายอะลอตอยู่ออนท็อปออฟชิคเก้นความวัว so any matter with the count ไม่ทันหาย okay ความวัวไม่ไม่ทันหาย means hasn't disappeared yet or hasn't been solved yet หาย mean disappear and this context means uh, hasn't been solved yet ความควาย so buffalo matter เข้ามาแทรกเข้ามาเข้า means enter เข้ามา is like enter มา is direction verb okay เข้ามา is like come towards if I can translate it would be like towards in English but it's like directional verb in Thai it's like เข้ามาเข้าไป okay เข้ามาเข้าไป uh or โทรมาโทร telephone right โทรมา like you call me so you โทรมา but if I call you there would be โทรไป by go right so that directional verb okay I might do another video for directional verbs just to make it clearer okay so เข้ามาแทรกเข้ามาแทรกแทรก means uh, interrupt or like cut off okay so basically it means like uh, this matter hasn't been resolved yet and the second matter already comes in basically you're already in trouble and then another matter another trouble You know, comes in and like it's gonna kind of make make it worse, right? ความวัวไม่ทันหายความควายเข้ามาแทรก Okay. หน้าเนื้อใจเสือ Yeah, this one is uh the one that Sean uh told me. In sheep disguise, uh wolf sheep's in clothes something. <laughs> wolf in sheep sheep clothes or something. Uh, which one? I'm I'm trying to find it. Sean, say it again, okay? I cannot find it. หน้าเนื้อใจเสือหน้าหน้า is face. เนื้อเนื้อ is actually from เนื้อทราย okay? เนื้อทราย is an animal. Not sure which species. Uh, I think it is gazelles in English. Yes, yes, gazelles. Yes. Um, so. Dai means heart, right? s u means tiger. So na, na, gazelles and dai, tiger. Uh, this comes from a story, like a fairy tale. Not a fairy tale, sorry. I used the wrong word. A tale, like a folklore. Yeah. Um. So once upon a time, there were a lot of, you know, uh, gazelles, and a tiger was waiting to catch. Those gazelles, but then uh, I think one gazelle died, and that tiger was using the meat, like maybe um, the flesh of the dead gazelle, to cover himself, right, and pretend to be one of those gazelles. And then he was waiting for the right moment, and then you know kill the rest of the gazelle. So basically, it means that a person who had you know bad intention. But pretend to be someone nice, or an angel, or someone who you know is helpful to other people. But at the same time, there he or she is actually like waiting for the right moment to take advantage of the other person or the other people. Okay. Um. Yes, a wolf in sheep's disguise. So this one is na n u a t a i s a is equivalent to a wolf. In sheep's clothing or sheep disguise, in English, yeah, I actually heard both version, but I use the sheep's clothing uh, more often. But for some reason, I forgot today. Okay. Uh, the next one is we are almost there. หาเหาใส่หัว Where's my notes? เหาเหา is louse. Did I pronounce it right? L U L O U S E. เหาเหลาส์เหลาส์อ่ะหา is search or look for house เหลาส์ right ใส่ใส่ means put and หัว is head so หาเหาส์ใส่หัว so you uh you just find your own trouble you you know you love drama basically <laughs> uh, instead of just you know living your life you Try to get troubles, or try to be in trouble, or try to get into drama or fights or some troubles with other people. 
Yeah, so ha hao hao is a louse. Okay, put on your head. Ha hao say hua. Nas nua zai sua. Yes, Chan, thank you. Okay, so ha hao say hua is equivalent to guang tao ha xian in Thai as well. Okay, this one is not about animal, but it's uh, the same meaning as ha hao say hua. So I'm going to teach you as well. Guang tao ha xian. Xian is. Uh, for my note is splinter, splinter, splinter. Okay, so guang tao guang swing. Okay, guang. Imagine this is of uh, my foot. Guang. Tao tao. Remember tao, right? Tao's foot. Guang. Like guang tao, and then to guang tao on purpose to try to get uh you know splinter to hurt your foot. So basically, it means the same thing as ha hao say hu. Alright, instead of you know focus on your Instead of focusing on your life and try to, you know, helping other people, you it, instead find something to, uh, find something to, or pick on little things to, you know, to be in trouble yourself, okay? Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, I thought um, we're going to have more time to do this one, but we actually kind of over time now. Yeah, and I need to prepare for Brandy Babes. I'm going to teach about dating vocab. Okay, so if you want to listen to me in Thai, uh, teaching English in Thai and teaching English in English, just stay tuned for Brandy Babes Facebook page. Okay, all right. You have you guys have any questions so far? I'm going to do this live stream again, the same lesson at 1030, okay? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions after this, just send me a comment. Why does Thailand's idioms talk about gazelles? I don't know. Uh, I think because they, they were pretty. I think I think they're I think I don't think they exist anymore, right? They like extinct, right? Um anyway, so thank you very much and <laughs> Shane, I have to go. Uh, you can come back and see me again at 10.30. And if I have more time at 10.30, I'll cover this one too. How to say someone is shameless. Shameless. Or no shame at all in Thai. So there are five of them. I'll teach you uh, in that session. Because I cannot do with this session. Because <laughs> I was having problems with the technical stuff. My gosh. Okay, so... Yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you on Brainy Babes if you fancy listening to me more. Okay? See you later! Bye!